Okay, okay, I think that's it. That's great. This is a film about our last days here at Pacifica College. Well, it's a video anyway. Is this on? In fact, after tonight's graduation fiesta, I'm not sure what it will be. Here we are, my roommates, Val, Molly, and our best friends, CJ and Killer. This is the way I've seen you all four years. And I hope, like, if you see this maybe in 20 years at a film festival or maybe in a theater, You'll remember us this way. I'm hoping to just get all these neurotic thoughts out of my mind when I'm dreaming, when I'm sleeping. <laughs> What did you get out of your four years at Pacifica? Okay, I saw. I served. <laughs> and uh, Mary Lou? Gee, I don't know. Let me think. I got an education. In anatomy. Basic and anatomy. You, CJ? What's your movie rated? <laughs> That's very nice. Raymond. Ray Raymond? Oh, hi, Gina. Tell me what you got out of your four years at Pacifica. Oh, a uh, couple thousand hangovers and an addiction to Pepto-Bismol. And I uh, got my degree in advanced pharmacology. <laughs> hey, Alan, could you watch my bike for a minute? Because I'd like to take a little picture. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what was it, Phil? Two words. Football. Great sport. It's a great American sport. Hey! Go! Oh, hi, Tina. Rose, can you give me an intellectual response? What did you get out of your four years at Pacifica? Split integers, variable coefficients, and the true meaning of 69. Once. Hi, Gina. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. And now I just want to do this close-up thing. And I mean, at this point, I think you're seeing a wider thing. I just want to go in and just do because I like this. Just right there. Hold it. Okay. Okay. Molly. Molly. What did you get out of your four years in Pacifica? Why are you asking me this now? Because I have to finish my final project and you are my grand finale. Gina, I've got six hours to pack this place up. I have to write my speech. We've got to clean up. We've got to cook dinner. Oh, my mom's coming. She's totally neurotic about everything. Dust, Molly. neatness, birth control. What did you get 
out of your four years at Pacifica. Okay, this is what I can't believe. I cannot believe I'm leaving this place without having my one earth-shattering, significant romance. What about one casual romance? It's too late for that now. Besides, what's more important, guys or us? Right, Val? Yeah. Val? Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. We're cool. We have each other. Yeah, and we have tonight. Oh, profound, Val. Why? Tonight we are going to party. And the dudes are coming over. Oh, dude, they put the sign back up. Ticket. No problem. Oh. Truck. I never saw it. <laughs> Fix. Prayer. For the waves we are about to receive, we shall be truly thankful. What is this? Birds. Hi, Hi CJ. Hi, Killer. Hi. Hi. Hi, Molly. What'd you do with my towel? I don't know. I, maybe I threw it out. No, not my lucky towel. That's my security towel, Maul. Oh. <laughs> close call, doll. Very close. Still awake. Wait a minute. You were gonna help me move these boxes. A lot of this stuff is yours. Most uh, of this stuff is yours. Hey. Where are you going? Later, babe. Oh, shit, CJ! Kill him. Check it out. <laughs> Incoming torpedoes, 2 o'clock. <laughs> Blow us in. Shut up. Waves breaking? You girls coming to the fiesta? <laughs> no <laughs> way. Everyone knows guys from Pacific are total pervs. <laughs> <laughs> That's us. <laughs> You know, I'm going to be a freshman here next year. Will you be here? I wish. <laughs> hey, Maul, I said I'd get that stuff later, OK? Thanks, Maul. Now you can have the rest of the afternoon off. Bugs me. What? It's like, it's like they come to college looking to meet this amazing guy, you know, cool but smart. Kind of like Sam Shepard. And then, like, who do we meet? Goons, geeks. The fact is, until men reach a certain age in their lifetime, their brains are located between their legs. And that's why we call them boys. Like CJ. He's just such an immature guy, you know? You know what you need? An older man. Older? Yes. Someone who will look deep into your eyes and your soul. Listen to every little idea you have. Really want to help you. Is Brad like that? Brad is stable and mature. Like, um, uh, Brad's like, uh, Clay Mignon. CJ, it's like, I think he's really into Mary Lou. I mean, like, who's he been with recently? Just Mary Lou. Yes, we are. That's just a simple case of implants. I was there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Pass me those cotton balls. I want you to look at this, because I want to run a little experiment here. See what you think. This is like okay. temporary implants. What are you doing? Molly! <laughs> I want to feel what it's like to be like Dolly Parton. Works for her. Molly! Yeah. Molly! Molly! What? <laughs> what? I just want to see what it's like to be really stacked. I like the new year. Hello, 
<laughs> this is a definite improvement. I see you took my advice and made that trip to Cruz R Us. Let me meet you, brother. Screw you, okay? Oh, come on, let me see those. Look at that. Hey, check this out, man. That's Molly's left boob. It's a right boob, I mean. Amazing. Can you believe this? Look, I'm splitting. I, I've got, like, really important things to do right now. <laughs> What'd you say, Molly? Here. I didn't hear you, Mom. <laughs> I've got really important things to do. I'm leaving. Oh, okay. Well, we got some really important things to do, too. Threat killer? Modulations, oneness, bitching tubes, all is good. Spoken like a true killer. Why bother going to law school? Why don't you just surf as a career move? You think I ought to do that? Mom, you know what your problem is? What? You think too much. You just, you gotta learn to take each day as it comes, like the waves. Do you remember that class where you reenacted Woodstock? That was great. I'm gonna miss you, Molly. So how's your speech coming? I just, I just don't know what to say. I mean, maybe it's that I'm graduating and I just don't feel like I've accomplished everything I wanted to or something. I don't know. Molly, what's going on with you? Is this a boy-girl situation? There is no situation. That's the problem. Honey, everything in its own time. And don't worry about the speech. Just remember when you get up there, speak from your heart, and you'll be fine. You're right. I say give it your best shot. OK, I'll try. And it was great earlier. Kind of sucks now. When faced with the inevitable, you must face the inevitable. <laughs> Where the hell did you get that? And the Yogi Bear? <laughs> no, seriously, man. What are you gonna be when you graduate? Oh, uh, about 50. Something's happening. Big changes in the universal forces. Yeah? Hey, have you noticed how hyper Molly's been acting lately? Uh, Perception is the mother of invention, dude. Killer. You've been doing too much required reading, dude. <laughs> uh, maybe I should just grab her at the fiesta. No? It's questionable. So is Einstein's theory of relativity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys are putting my pot in the pot. <laughs> Artie. It's <laughs> gonna be weird. Okay. Here's an interesting question. Do you think CJ's ever done it on a surfboard? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Questions like that are definitely going to get you into trouble one of these days. That'd be okay. I mean, that'd be great. People love answering provocative questions. You should see their faces when they talk about sex. Yeah, and well, you know what I've noticed? It seems to me that filmmakers sure talk about it a lot more than they do it. Oh, really? Like who? Oh, this Ooh. is really. Can I take this? <laughs> oh, here. Oh, get it? Oh, great. Okay, up. Oh, that's great. Okay, back a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, they look delicious. Can I lift it up? Okay. Hello? Yeah. Oh, hi, baby. Yeah, this is Val. I love you. I love you. Hi. 
Hi, baby. <clears throat> Bradley. Oh, you know what you meant. Tonight for the Shangri-La dinner. We're making a little lasagna. You're where? Uh-huh. But Brad... Uh-huh. Uh, honey, it's just that you should have warned me, that's all. No, of course I'm happy. A cupcake? Uh, do you think that we could do it tomorrow? Well, um, I, I sort of promised Molly and, and Gina that we would... Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. You know who I think I saw today? Mickey Leroy. Ooh, is he the guy in the hippos? No, no, he was in the rhinos, the lead guitar player. Ah, a man whose time came and passed before the age of the personal computer. God, and he was still so cute. Ooh, I wonder what he's doing here. <sighs> Michael. God, Connie, you look fantastic. I know I should have called. I was driving up the coast through pure impulse. The car pulled off Route 1, took me here. I thought that maybe we could have dinner together. Hey, that little Mexican place, you know, they, they made the great margaritas. They still in business? Michael, that place has been closed for 15 years. It's Cajun. Cajun's great. Perfect. I love Cajun. I can't. Why not? Come on, take a chance. I can't. Okay, if you can't do dinner, how about drinks? I'm staying at the Playa del Mar. Real simple. No pressure. Michael, tonight's the fiesta. Remember? No, I'm not going to do this again. The fiesta's tonight? Well, I, I guess that's it then. Okay. Put some uh, antifreeze in, it'll handle the Boston winter, okay? Beast needs a top for the snow. Poor Beast doesn't know what he's in for. Precipitation's like a foreign concept to him. Ignorance is bliss, man. You think I should pop for some snow tires? Chains, maybe, huh? No chains, man. Man, I'm famished, dude. What'd the bird say was on the menu? Snake legs, cook the order. <laughs> you remember that time Val burnt that shrimp and tried to tell us it was Cajun? <laughs> I like that, man. Yo! Hey! to surprise me. I don't believe this. He says he's got this incredible suite over at the Playa Del Mar and wants to spend a night like a real married couple. Oh, <laughs> no. No, wait. You're going to die. He says he bought me this incredible silk negligee. Oh, this is our last night here. I mean, you're not. Molly, I know. I, I tried to tell him that. All right, come on. This is ridiculous. This is a major Shangri-La event. We cannot quarrel. Who's quarreling? I'm not quarreling. I'm here. I'm staying for dinner. Well, what about Gina's video showing after dinner? You know how long she's been well, working on it. Well, not completely there yet. You always do this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is not my fault. What do you expect me to do? Well, can't you tell him to wait? Oh, Molly, now, use some common sense. She's marrying him, not us. Thank you, Gina. 
But this is not what we planned, Val. You know what? I think that my marriage is just as important as your career and your video. God, it's not about that. You guys aren't listening Don't make to us me. Chaos. Yeah. Well, my Tranquility. video is there. Yellow. It's too, Val. Do I hear voices raised in anger? Are you girls fighting on our last day here? Come on, kiss and make up. Come on. Love means never having to say you're loaded. <laughs> I'd like to propose a toast here. Where's the glasses? Where are the glasses? I packed them. What? <laughs> <laughs> to us. Pacifica's finest graduates. Here, here. Birds. Dude. A babe in the kitchen is worth two on the beach. Let's eat. Lasagna, Ma. Bring her out. Best. Let's all do the trot. Come on, killer. Come on. All right. Here we go. All right. And we trot. <laughs> I have been trot. <laughs> okay, here we go for the cross step. Ready for the cross step? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, keep going. Great. On the floor. Here. No, don't go in. Look at the riders. I don't know. I got something real important I want to ask you. Don't be shy. Ask. It was really personal, and I've been wanting to ask you for a long time. But first, um, do you have any cookies? No, but I have some homemade dessert. I like some of that. Oh, oh, that's so oh, isn't that not? Oh, what a moment. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. You're not going nowhere. Whoa! Whoa! Who's gonna get it? Somebody better get it. <laughs> I'm somebody. Shh. <laughs> uh, Trey. Thank you. Who are you? I'm Mickey Leroy. I used to live here. I hope you don't mind my looking around a little bit. Birds, Duke. Ex tenant Mickey Leroy. Weren't you one of the hippos? No, he's the lead guitarist for the rhinos. You guys still remember? I love it. Yeah. Hey, this is Molly, our chef. God, it's such a pleasure to meet you. I love your music. It's great. Yeah, well, if you're you. still a hippie right. and live in a tent. I have all your records in my room. Go get them. This used to be my old room. You know the trampled record? Uh -huh. You recorded that in Tibet, right? No, I was never in Tibet. Marrakesh. But you did study with Ravi Shankar. No, that was the Beatles. George Harrison did that. Oh. But... I did go surfing with Brian Wilson once. You don't say. <laughs> All right, dude's okay. <laughs> County line, 72. Incredible, you know? Curls, swerves, impossible moves. I've just done it all, man. Seriously, you should be there next time. Uh, hey, Mickey. Uh, 
There's this guy, Leroy, in our class. Uh, is, is that your kid? Not that I know of. Then, uh, what are you doing here, bud? Well, let's just call it a little trip down memory lane. Yeah, I hear that happens a lot in middle age. Hey, what'd you say your name was, kid? This is CJ. <laughs> Val and I do a dance to this record. Do you want to see it? Sure, I'd love to. You don't mind if I film it, do you? No, go ahead. That'd be great. Val, let's show him the dance, OK? It's Gina Kim. Val. Molly. You go right ahead. Molly is a great dancer. Oh, and this is the best filmmaker right here by Nick. Happy Fiesta. Yeah, the Fiesta. Let's go. Come on. You coming? Kill her. Gina, come on. Well, uh, this has been heaven on a stick, Mick. Have a nice rest of your life. You too. Vominos, killer. When the moon is in the seventh wave. Appreciate it. Take it slow. Oh, killer. Did you find any Triumph motorcycle parts around here? Yeah. Molly, right? So, let's have that dance. Okay. Let me just adjust the lights. That looks like the rhino's old color wheel. Yeah, I found it in the closet. Yeah? Great, keep it. It's yours. Thanks a lot. I split the sky in half and looked into the light and found a place called Shangri-La. I found a place called Shangri-La. Keep it from the fiesta. That's okay. Hey, you can go with me if you want. No, no, no. You should be with your friends. Oh. Listen, thanks for everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun. You should uh, visit me. I'm at the Playa del Mar. Thanks, Gina. Bye. Bye. I can't believe he actually lived here. I think CJ is really pissed off. <laughs>
What do you want? It's something with your name on it. Right. What do you want, dude? Fluids. Those fluids. You heard the guy. Plus Coming four. up. All right. <laughs> Freeze it easy. Oh. What's the situation here? I don't want to talk about it. Don't ask me about it because I just don't want to talk about it, okay? She pisses me off, you know that? End of discussion. It's not out of here. Thanks, dude. Hey, all right. How's the way go, man? This is mine, dude. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Hey, make yeah. Nice yeah. Well, usually what happens is around this time of year, we like to deal in gross. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. Uh, but the summer coming on it, right? You know, well, golf balls, that's our line. <laughs> yeah. Right, we have uh, quite a bit in stock. Blue, green, and I particularly like orange. Well, then let's go ahead and seal the deal. I can't tell you how great that makes me feel. You've just given me and my new bride a great honeymoon. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, you've made yourself a friend for life. Okay, buddy. Uh-huh. Good night. Love muffins. <laughs> Guess who just got themselves and all expenses to Tahiti? That's yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't I wonderful? Yeah. Well, stand up. Let me take a look at you. <sighs> Turn around. Slowly. You like? I love. <laughs> Boy, do I have good taste. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. I have to call my boss. Bradley! Dimples, please. Just one minute. <sighs> this line's busy. Why doesn't he have call waiting? <laughs> This line's still busy. Who could he be talking to? Well, his loss. Bradley? Yeah, yes. Let's go to the fiesta, please. <laughs> now, why would anybody want to spend an entire evening dancing with college boys? <laughs> Bradley's got a better idea. Oh, really? What? Uh, hmm? What? 
Let's order up some room service. Anything that little heart of yours desires. Anything? Sure. Surprise me. Tss. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, room service, please. Order the top of the line, anything you want. Just make sure it's French. Um, a double order of French fries Give and... me that phone. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Could you please send up a large bottle of French champagne? Yes, yeah, one of those sexy little brutes from the Loire section. Uh-huh. 72, 73, or 80. That's right. Send it up to suite 515. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Muffins, could you hang that up, please? I can't believe you ordered french fries. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. From now on, I do all the ordering around here. And I order you to lay down right uh, now. Bradley! <laughs> I know you. I, you're the best dancer at Shangri La, right? Get right? Out of right? Here. Oh, let me have your autograph. Go have a dance lesson, huh? Shut up. Come on. I'm serious. I'm asking you to dance. With you? How do I compare to a uh, king of the hippos? Come on, CJ. It's our last night. Uh, me neither. Hey, Ma, can I ask you a personal question? Okay. Huh? How you been acting so weird lately? Weird? Yeah, weird. CJ, haven't you ever been really crazy about someone and you just don't know how to say it? No. Maybe once, but it was a long time ago. Mm. God, babes are so ridiculous. Any guy would be flattered to know a chick had the hots for him. Really? So I should just tell him? Yeah. You, you're hot for Mickey Leroy, aren't you? God, no. God, you're so ridiculous. I. Whoa. I'm ridiculous? Well, you've fallen all over the guy back there. CJ, you... where have you been? Uh, you bad boy. How's it going, Mary Lou? Practically perfect. Until now. Now it's perfect. God, I'm glad someone's having fun at the fiesta. Mary Lou, you, you know Molly, don't you? Molly? You're the class of the Victorian, right? I'm dying to meet you. Well, now you have.
you are. Molly? This is so filmic. It's like I'm watching that dress come alive. Where are you going? Gina, I'm taking the big plunge. I'm going to the Playa Del Mar. Oh, my God. What are you going to do? Well, you can interview me tomorrow, OK? So I shouldn't wait up for you, right? Right. And I shouldn't ask any more questions, right? Right. Molly? Yeah? Why are you taking the pizza? <laughs> I can't believe you sent her to get us a pizza. There's another working girl. <laughs> Jesus, they're getting younger all the time. That one looks like a college girl. Where do you think they learn it? Let's pull her in. Control yourself, Teddy, or you'll never be more than a little dick. Detective. Hotel detective. Not yet. Understood? Understood. Remember, we can't touch her unless she goes upstairs. Right, Philip. Then we'll get convictions. <laughs> I'll be the one with the tall drink. See ya. Hi, Mickey. Hi, this is Molly. You know, from Shangri-La? Yeah. Well, I was just wondering whether you might want to have a drink with me. I'm just right down here in the lobby. Yeah. Great, okay, well, what room are you in? Thank you very much. Okay, the lounge, I'll see you there. Okay. Psst. How you doing? Seen anything unusual? No. Pretty average evening, actually, sir. Hiya. Good to see you. Come on. I really like this place. Oh, yeah? Want me to take this? Uh, so you want to dance? Look, um... Come on. The women here are so glamorous. I can't believe it. Well, they should be. They're all pros, God love them. People you must have known, so talented and interesting. Yeah. Listen, Molly, I had a long drive today to, to get up here, and uh, I got some work that I got to take care of up in my room. Yeah. So. Is it new material? I mean, I'd love to hear it. Listen, we both know why you came here, but it ain't gonna happen. So if you hurry, you can uh, catch the end of the fiesta. I don't wanna go to the fiesta. Why not? I fell in love with the fiesta, freshman year. Don't you have a boyfriend? Hey, Molly, you're a rock. 
rock and roller. The night's not over till the sun comes up. I'm sorry. I just feel so stupid. <laughs> I think you're great. Uh, What's the matter now? I, th I think this false eyelash just got in my eye. I don't know how to put these on right. Don't worry, I got some eye drops up in the room. Music, my throat! Why don't you take uh, this home with you? You might need it later, okay? There you go. And, uh, oh, like this. Careful. You need a ride? Oh, no, I have my moped downstairs. Hey, hey, you shouldn't be driving in this condition. I'll get you a cab. As a matter of fact, I think you could use just a little bit of fresh air, so come on with me. We'll go out on the terrace, all right? Don't move until I come and get you. Groupies, God love them. Connie. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> hi. I thought we could have a drink. Sure. Sure, let's go downstairs to the lounge. No. I want to apologize for being so rude this afternoon. Oh, hey, don't give it a second thought. I should have called. Um... You know, I've never seen what it's like when you're on the road. Oh, it's nothing to see. It's really a mess, actually. I've been working. Well, I just want to see. It's not messy. It's just a... Are you kidding? Well, it's just a... Oh, Michael. Michael. This is... You've reached Shangri-La. Marlene, Abby, this... and Dottie are out. I'm Dottie. Hey. All right. <laughs> Leave a message. Gina, if you're there, please pick up the phone. I'm not going to believe this, but I am Roy's terrace. I'm totally freaking out. I don't know what to do. I think I made a big mistake. Well, I guess you're not there. Bye. <laughs> Good morning, mm. I got an answer. Mm -hmm. Just tell me up. Mm. Hello?
world passed reluctantly from the earth. And so the seniors of Pacifica entered their graduation. What had taken four years to build shattered in a night. In every direction stretches a tormented, wasted population of half-men suffering from delirium, crying out in pain. Oh, hi, killer. <laughs> What had transpired to bring humans to such animal degradation? Who could know? Who could ever know? Who would want to know? Ah! Oh, mm. fail. Now there's a look. Gina. Come on. Come on. It's <laughs> gonna kill me. Oh, he's gonna love this look. How'd you get into this mess? Message. Brad woke up. He's gonna kill me. I'm gonna get this. It's okay. Gina, if you're there, please pick up the phone. I'm gonna believe this, but I am stuck on Mickey Leroy's terrace. I'm totally freaking out. I don't know what to do. Molly. Is a white slaver? No, I think it's more like a middle-aged drug dealer. Mm. Ladies, ladies. Hi. 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 Look, 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 look. Philip, it's another co-ed. Mm. You girls are out a little late tonight, aren't you? Yeah, we're looking for a friend of ours. Uh, is he sort of a night owl? Yeah, yeah. So we thought we'd just go right up to his room. We're in business. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, there's more hookers where they came from, huh? Working girls, Ted, working girls. We're gonna nail him this time, right, Philip? Oh, I, God, I forgot his room number. Oh, oh. She's, she's terrible <laughs> with numbers. She forgets her own birthday. It's true, I do. Oh, well, is it sort of a surprise? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? I think I could help you out. Why don't you just follow me this way? They're going up, and her partner has a camera. <laughs> kinky. Very kinky. I think it's time I call the paddy wagon. Actually, you know what we're here is really to find our friend, and she's with this older guy. Well, there's a lot of that around here. Yeah. Well, yeah, she's kind of naive. Well, maybe not as naive as you think. Um, this is the place. Mm -hmm. Have fun, girls. <clears throat> Girls, new recruits. Come on in. I'm Anna. This is Julie. Who are you? Uh, I'm Gina, and this is Val. I think we have the wrong one. Yeah. Room. Oh, wait a minute. Come on in. Yeah, come in. Maybe we can help. Whose room are you looking for? Um, Mickey Loy. Look at the room list, Julie. Oh. Nine thirty. Mmm, luxury sleep.
see if I decide to stick around for a while. for a blonde and a purple necklace. <laughs> Have you seen her? Uh, um, I, you know, I could help you out. Well, she's lost. Yeah, I, I know who she is. I know, I mean, I know where she is. For just, a, for a hundred dollars and then more. What are you talking about? Well, that's pretty much the going rate. Right? I mean, she's pretty hot. I mean, I speak from experience, really. That's my fiance well, you're joking. talking it was just about. a joke, really. Ah! I'll rip your lungs out, one at a time! Oh, Jesus. I never knew he had that kind of temper. Well, you had just better be careful, because I've heard of the thing called wife beating. No, Gina, no, I know he really loves me. He's just a little, um, demonstrative. Oh, that's a good choice. So, um, you guys, uh, um, uh, well, do you uh, hang out here at the Playa Del Mar? Oh, yes. It's been a very good season for business, you know? Spring fever. <laughs> no, it's the economy. The interest rates are down. Yeah, I've even been thinking about buying some property. You know, I had it with stocks. Brad says condos. Condos? Mm -hmm. Brad's the one who's been demonstrative. <laughs> Let me look. Let me take a Well, whoever he is, he's gone. Want a little advice? Next time, get your money, money up, up front. front. <laughs> okay. Okay, thanks. Oh. Hello, girlies. Oh, You're making a very big mistake. I just left my idea at home. Oh, Did you just ask her? You're right, you got the wrong people. Sure, kid, that's what they all say. No, right but hey, loose, loose child. It's an occupational hazard. This is my occupation. Oh. Gina, would you shut up, please? Get in the wagon. Brad will kill me if he sees me. No, wait a minute. I know my rights. What about the Miranda case? Oh, you know that bitch, Miranda? That bitch, Miranda, is my best friend. Oh, 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 shut up, you hookers! Oh. Alleged. Save it for the judge. Just get in the truck. What the hell's going on here? Would you put the gun away? Put your holster back on your belt. Let's go. Young lady, back over here. Right over here, Dal. Right over there. I'm not joking. Right back here, okay? Sir, you're making a mistake. You want in with the hookers? There's a lot of room on that day. Alleged. Ted, you want in with them? Take it back inside then, will you please? You too, please. Inside. Molly, whatever you do, just don't tell Brad, please. Anything. Don't tell Brad. Don't resist arrest. Wait, 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 wait. Here, my ring. Bill money. Get him the hell out of here. Okay, so we each get one phone call when we get there. Who do you want to call? Are you kidding? Nobody. It's all flips. Mom's get us out. Right? Right. Brad is really going to be pissed off. 
Well, relax. Mom will take care of it. to ask about Brad again. Oh, just fine, fine. No, no, I don't mean that. I just mean, just enjoy this. I mean, Molly's gonna get us out of here. All we have to do is enjoy this. Look at this place. I mean, will you look at that toilet? It's the most disgusting toilet I ever saw. What if you had to pee right now? You shut up. I do have to go pee right now. Excuse me. Do you got a cigarette? Oh, no, I'm sorry. We don't smoke. I should have known that Miss Americas don't smoke. Now you stop teasing the kids, all right? Shut up, slut. Alleged. What are you in for? We're innocent. <laughs> That's telling them. What are you in for? Manslaughter. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Who'd you kill? Why would you ask me a question like that? Because I gather information. But I don't give information. That's my kid. Don't take her crap, all right? Tina, I think that you should shut up now. No, I mean, I wish I had my camera. We're just getting to the great stuff. Dude. Huh? Dude. Rise and shine. Major waves. No babes. Wasn't into it.
All right, just breathe, dude. Breathe, breathe, relax. I was out there, just having a grand old time. The next thing I knew, boom, it's prime screen time. It's so weird, you know? The last thing I thought of before I blacked out, I, I don't even know if I should say this. Molly. How'd you know, man? You think that's lame or what? You are you, man. <sighs> Big changes. Yeah. I don't know about you, but there's some breakfast in my future. <laughs> Speaking of which. What? Whoa. Cervezas. <laughs> Excellent. <sighs> yeah, law school. Law of the land. That's that's your place, man. Are you trying to say that just because I ate it on a little lousy way that I can't surf anymore? No, no. Good. It's time, man. I passed my last course. <laughs> I don't believe you. Yep, that last paper you wrote for me, the one on Spinoza, I got an A. No. I got an A, she gave me an A. <laughs> Change is inevitable, man. I'm going around the world, dude. Alone. Hey, uh, screw law school, man. I want to come with. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. No, no, yeah. No, no, no. I'm going to need a lawyer someday. I want it to be you. Wait a minute. See that horizon? Yeah. You are you. Hey, dude. Aloha to the birds! Breakfast, ladies. You, red, down. Oh, Matt, she's just uh, memorizing every detail. Back talking, honey. Get your breakfast. Wake up, girls. Doesn't that look good? Huh? Um, I had a very bad experience with oatmeal when I was little. I thought I was going to like it, and then I threw up on my bunk bed at camp. And I was wondering if there would be any way at all that I could doll have something else. No, there isn't anything else, man. You better eat it because it's the last you're gonna get until tonight. What? <laughs> but but we're graduating this afternoon. Oh, congratulations. Bon appetit. You really have amazing table manners. You must have had a pretty interesting home life. It's pretty disgusting, though. Look, I'm strung out. Why don't you just stick your nose back into your plate and leave me alone? OK, just a sec, though. I just, I want to ask you this one question. I've always, I, how, how do you stick those needles into your arm? How do you do that? I mean, what is your mouth? Hey, don't you even think of touching her. Oh. I'm going to touch her. I'm about to give little Miss Mouth a fat lip to match her fat head. Oh, yeah? Yeah? yeah. yeah. I, I have just... to go through me first. I'm going to me, because I'm going to rip you apart with my bare hands, Blondie. Hit her in the nose, <laughs> Val. I think it's a great yeah. idea. Yeah. She needs a face lip. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, Mom. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. It's okay. Is everything okay? What's the matter? What's wrong? Look, Gina and Val went to the Playa del Mar last night. Yeah? And they got arrested and they're in jail. What? They're in jail? Val and Gina? Are in jail? You I gotta need be... bail money and I've looked everywhere over this stupid place and I can't find any. Just, just, just wait a second, okay? I'm gonna move in Tito. Problems are over. Here we go. I walked with a zombie. A fine CJ, one. this isn't a joke, all I'm right? Th Look, I can't believe you didn't know she kept it in here. I mean, how long have you lived with it? Three years or something like that? I mean, I, I can't believe... you just cool it, okay? I'm upset. Well, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm... I'm sorry. I, I don't want to fight anymore. What are they, what are they in for? I mean, prostitution? Oh, my God. I knew Gina was short on money, but I had no idea. What are we going to do? We don't have enough money for bail. It's just a matter of uh, delicate negotiations, that's all. I mean, it's only the first felony. I can probably get him paroled. Okay. Just joking. Smile. Morning. Morning. Can I help you? Yeah, we'd like to see the duty officer, please. Uh, yeah, that would be Sergeant McLeish. Yeah, well, could you get him? Sure, this is gonna work. I didn't spend four years in free law for nothing. Oh. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be a breeze. Oh, we are. Thank you. Hi, we're waiting for Sergeant McLeish. How can I help you? Um, actually, I'm here regarding a little case of mistaken identity. Uh, last night, two women were arrested and uh, incarcerated here. Oh, that's too bad. What were the charges? Just bear with me for a minute. Um, let me preface this by saying that uh, both of these women were honor students at Pacifica College, and uh, neither one has a prior police record of, of any kind. And, and they're very good friends of ours. Well, I'm handling this, OK? All right. Well, just calm down. I just want to know what the charges are. It's so not sitting. They're totally innocent of the charges, I can assure you. Oh, and you've tried them. You're the judge and you're the jury, hmm? Um, I think we can, we can clear this little problem up without any kind of a wrongful arrest lawsuit or anything. Oh, like. you studied your law. Oh, very good. Mm. Do you have some positive identification on your friends? As a matter of fact, I've got it right here. Hmm, student IDs. You 21? Yes. Good. Then I'll release them to your custody for $500 bail each. Cash. Cash? Yeah. Um, could, could you just wait a, for one minute, please? Sure. Just wait a minute. I don't look, I got an idea, okay? Just, just like, give me a chance, okay? Miss? Ma'am, um, I'm really worried that we're not gonna get to graduation, and I just thought, that maybe you could accept this ring as collateral for the bail. I know it's worth a lot more than a thousand dollars. An engagement ring? How romantic. You must be a pretty good friend to want to give up your ring for him. Benny! Yo, Benny! Yeah? Do these students look like hookers to you? Uh... No, wait, don't answer that. Release him. <laughs> Valerie Ann O'Hurley. I damn near called out a missing persons report on you, young lady. You have a little explaining to do. Bradley, Bradley, ah! please, please don't be upset. I can explain this. Oh my this. God, Angel, how did you get that purple thing on your face? Tomorrow <laughs> night, we have dinner with the boss. How am I going to explain that? And you've ruined my favorite jacket. I can't trust you with anything, can I? Well, you don't have to because we do. Did you say something? Molly, he was oh, come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just forget him. Come on, we'll leave right now. Uh, they'll mail you your diploma. I'll drive you right over and have you rolfed, OK? And after a week laying in the sun, you'll be all scrumptious again, and we can forget this whole terrible day. 
I don't want to forget this day. You don't understand. This is your last chance. You come with me now or I'm calling this wedding off. You have to decide whether you want to be friends with these people or my wife. Well... Okay. Then it's settled, right? Come on, we'll leave right now. I have something to say to you. Bradley, please, I have something to tell you. Tell me in the Beamer, all right? On the way, okay? Molly, do you have my ring? <laughs> I'm so glad I found you. I was so worried. Come on. Buckle up, Brad. <laughs> Fine. Fine. You ain't see. In six months, you're gonna be banging on my door. I don't think so. Ugh. Come on. God, I can't wait to tell Killer about that right hook. Man, he's gonna die. He is. Killer's... Killer's gone. Where'd he go? He just took off. Said it was his time. Just... He's gone. He's... Feels like we don't live here anymore. I mean, I know it's only been a day, but everything's changed. Did your eye hurt? It's not. I completely forgot all about it. You know, the blues and yellows are really beautiful. Sorry. I'll tell you something odd. I think I know this has been 
One of the best days I've ever had. Me too. You want to talk about it? Well, do you have your tape recorder on? No. You swear? No. You promise? No, it's just me talking to just you. How boring. You're totally wrong. You are fantastic today, Val. I really admire you. I knew you wouldn't bag out on me, dude. Oh, Sorry, oh, I... Come on. I just came to say goodbye. Oh, uh... Well... Uh, no, 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 don't... Don't go. Can you just hang out for a little while? Have a seat. I'm sorry about the mess. <laughs> We, we kind of got a little shortage of chairs. Um, we you kind of try to keep it a little informal, the Casa de Killer and CJ. Morrison. Showtime, Mom. Everyone here. 
here at Pacifica, all the graduating seniors, thanks. It's been great. It's dedicated to Val and to Molly and to Killer and to CJ.